why the camera changes like from the thumbnail angle to like when you're actually live. That's really dumb. Okay. I redid my bun because I thought it'd be cuter like this, but I'm actually starting to like one that was like a lot slouchy better. Maybe it'll like loosen up as I go. I don't know. But anyway, oh my Gucci-ness, hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to be cooking eggs. And you know, since you guys think that you know everything and that you can tell me how to cook, and you guys are always telling me, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. Okay, let's see how well you guys cook. So we're going to, we have a few ingredients here, as you can see, and we're going to cook based on these ingredients over here. Um, I'll bring them closer so you guys can see them, but you guys are gonna choose which ingredients, how we're cooking the eggs, and we're gonna see how it turns out. Um, I have very low expectations for some of you. So before I begin, as per usual, you can donate at BrittanyVinci.com if you'd like me to read a message, or alternatively, you could just super chat. Um, but I prefer through my website, and I'll probably read it quicker. And this is going to possibly be a pretty short Bimbo Bistro because I was hoping to maybe stream regularly after this, like do a normal stream, but I don't know, it depends how I feel. If you guys piss me off too much, I'm not doing it though. So yeah, I'm kind of like in semi PJs right now. I'm sorry, just like, I don't feel like dressing up right now. Okay, this is casual Friday. In four hours, so it's fine. Anyway, um, let's start off with the ingredients. So obviously we have the eggs, so that's not optional. And um, contrary to common belief, I actually do have a lot of them. Yeah, I also didn't feel like putting on makeup today. I just put on lip tint because I wasn't trying to do all that. Okay, you know what? I'm a, I'm a busy, I'm a busy bimbo. This is a busy bimbo. Um... So here are, here are the ingredients. We have garlic, which is in the jar. We have hot chili crisp. This is what goes in the kimchi ramyun, for those of you that remember from the last Bimbo Bistro. We have pepperoncini, which is kind of like a pickle, but it's spicy. It's, it goes on salads sometimes but we all know salads are for fat people, so that's why I just have a jar of it and I just eat it out of the jar. Yeah, guys, you better not make me, uh, you better not make me waste eggs because eggs are like $20 a carton now or whatever, so if you make me waste these, you're literally responsible for the starving children in Africa. I'm starving child in Africa. Okay, so then we have butter and we also have avocado oil and then we have some spicy vegan kimchi because I'm allergic to shellfish not because I'm a vegan because I know somebody's gonna be like why is it vegan because you know what you're the same if you question why I'm buying something vegan I bet you would also question why I buy something kosher like are you fucking stupid Absolutely, I'm gonna buy kosher. It's gonna be higher quality. You think that Jewish people would like let that shit slide? No, they would not. Damn straight, I eat kosher food all day. Anytime I see kosher, automatic pick. Automatic pick. That's literally the opposite of being anti-Semitic. I'm literally pro-Jewish food. I love Jewish food. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna open this. We'll figure it out, but yeah. Those are the ingredients. Oh, oh, two more, sorry. So we have white onions and then we have green onions slash chives. So we're going to cook according to you guys since you know so much. So let's start off with the first thing. Um, before we begin, I do have apple cider vinegar, the first $50 donation. I will take a shot of apple cider vinegar for Harder, as per usual, hard apple cider vinegar. 
And what are you making, crap? I'm making you shut the fuck up is what I'm doing. Time him out. Anyway, so the first thing we have to do is figure out which style of eggs we're gonna cook. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a poll. And based on the poll is how we're going to determine which style of egg we create. So style of egg. So the first is going to be um, runny. So like over easy. Let's just type over easy. Or um, I think that's the term. The next one is scrambled. Honestly, people who should, I'm going to say right now, I don't even care if this affects the poll and gives you guys a bias um, because some of you are probably like trying to kiss my ass, which is honestly just as cringe as the people who are in here talking about, oh, you make crap food. Uh, you and the haters are the horseshoe effect. Like here's the haters and here's the ass kissers. It's like the same thing, two sides of the same coin. You guys are both cringe. Anyway, um, so we have over easy and scramble and scrambled I feel like is going to be the choice of people who eat their steaks well done. Like it's just, it gives that same energy of not having taste. Like, oh, I'm gonna eat scrambled eggs because I am scared of eating good food. Like that's just how it is. So, okay, we're doing over easy, scrambled. Um, what's a third option? What would be a good third option for that variation? There, an omelet? Um, let me see if I have ingredients for an omelet. Oh, also for one of the ingredients, we're gonna bring out sriracha, if you guys want me to put it on there. We'll talk about that later though. Poach, I don't know how to do poach. Like what qualifies as a poach? Okay, sunny side up. Omelet. Okay, omelet we'll put in there. Okay, so now I'm running the poll. So you guys can vote starting now, and I'll give you guys a minute to vote on which style of egg we're doing. Okay, why is scrambled winning? Did you just not hear me? Are you guys fucking deaf? Why is omelet women? You, you guys have seriously like some of the worst taste I've ever seen. You have the audacity. This is why we're doing this stream. No, I'll make it. I'll make it, but you guys are going to suffer the consequences of looking at the monstrosity that happens afterward. Like, really? You, you choose an omelet? An omelet? Okay. Like, what is this? A fucking New Jersey diner? You're going to eat a fucking omelet? Just say you go to diners. Just say you eat dry diner food, okay? Just say it. Smelly trash haver, $9,700. Take away two shots of apple cider vinegar. Okay, no apple cider vinegar. I hope eggs aren't as old and crusty and dusty as your eggs. Don't forget to make a poll for a cooking device. The poll should include oven and microwave. You know, um, I, gotta, I have to give you credit. That actually is a great point, not me having dusty eggs but the um, poll about cooking method. I just assumed we were gonna pan fry it, but that's actually a great point. We can either microwave, cook on stovetop, or oven. I'll do that as the next round. Okay, so we've ran this poll for about a minute now with 216 votes, 18 votes, and it seems that we're in a very close tie because over easy has 32%, scrambled has 35%, and omelet has 34%. So I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds to see if there's a little more of a gap for which one to make. By the way, guys, I'm really hungry, so can you not make this really disgusting? Thank you. Like, I haven't gotten a chance to eat any meals today. So like, if you make me eat some like cancer blob, I'm, I'm gonna be real fucked up. Don't fuck me up like that. Omelet is just unscrambled eggs. Tell me you don't know how to cook without telling me you don't know how to cook. You've never made an omelet in your life, apparently. You have to... This, like, I can already tell this was a mistake. Like, letting you guys choose how to cook, th this was a mistake. Someone in chat just told me an omelet is an unscrambled egg. You have to scramble the eggs to make an omelet! You know when you like have your expectations on the floor? 
like the the bar was on the floor and i just fucking tripped over it that's what just happened oh my god i'm gonna pray for you i'm gonna pray for your retarded ass uh dear god universe please strike down that moron with some fucking intelligence god help them because only god could intervene to help this moron understand how life works thank you amen say god bless this food now it's fine um okay so according to hi nina also nina's in chat so the poll is at 317 votes for three minutes 320 votes i'm gonna end it and the results are in we will be making scrambled eggs by only two percent margin difference between the three so scrambled eggs it is and let's do one more vote for um how we're going to cook the eggs really quick method of cooking eggs okay first option microwave second option oven third option pan fried okay i'm gonna let that run for a couple of minutes and we'll see what happens and yes you can cook you can cook eggs in the microwave by the way i don't want to hear anything no no no. i don't want to hear anything from you guys at this point about like these this naysaying shit you guys are a bunch of naysayers because i literally watched one of you talking about how you don't scramble an omelet no raw is not an option i don't i don't like I don't want sal salmonella. Okay, so 58% so far are voting pan fried. So that's a pretty large gap. Basically, no one wants the oven and everyone either wants pan fried or microwave. Like people who are judging me right now for saying, oh, you cook eggs in the microwave. Okay, yes, I did try to boil eggs in the microwave because YouTube said I could, and then it exploded in the microwave. But that's beside the point. That was different. That was last time. This is here and this is now. And it would be different if they were already scrambled and then you microwaved it. The problem was the heat was being incubated and there wasn't a hole in the egg, which they failed to mention, by the way. They failed to mention that you have to poke a hole in it. Because I always did that with the thing that they give me in the egg boiler machine I used to use. But now I'm missing a compartment to that, so I can't use it. So they didn't tell me that, and then it exploded in my microwave. It was really annoying. And now my microwave's, like, disgusting because of it. Like, I'm going to have to hire a maid to clean the egg out of my microwave. Like, are you guys going to pay for it? When you guys fuck up my food, are you going to pay for my medical bills when I get food poisoning? Anyway, there is a super chat I missed, so let me go ahead and read that while you guys are uh, answering this poll. The poll's been here for two minutes. Oh, that's a good enough gap, actually. Okay, so we're going to be pan frying the eggs. So we're doing scrambled eggs pan fried. Okay, we have the method down. That's great. But really quick. Why are you saying boo in chat? You you are the one who voted for it. Why are you saying boo? Like you don't have to eat it. What's your problem? You don't. It's not like you have to eat it. I'm the one eating it. This is how you act when someone cooks for you too. Like boo. <coughs> democracy um let's not forget they don't call me brittler for nothing keep wearing crop tops okay don't get me started on the crop top thing literally someone was arguing with me about crop tops like basically like i deserve to be harassed if i wear a crop top and it's like i can't stand no i need to talk about this really quick i can't stand when men know literally nothing about fashion right and then they come to me talking about what i'm wearing 
Like, you literally would dress so frumpy if you were a girl. You know nothing about fashion. They're like, stop wearing crop top. Okay, what am I gonna wear then? What am I gonna wear? I'm gonna wear a full length t-shirt and then look fat. Have to get every single piece of my clothes tailored, which I basically already do, because the clothes off the rack don't fit my body. They don't contort to my shape, unless they're like these like cheap, stretchy Fashion Nova clothes. Fuck you. In fact, this shirt was tailored, by the way. I did bring it to a tailor. And they're like, oh, just stop wearing crop. Like, all they want is to, like, tell you, gaslight you to being frumpy. And then when you're frumpy, they'll call you ugly. Like, don't fall for it. Honestly, don't fall for it. They act like I'm walking around here dressing like a fucking stripper. Like, I'll be in my pajamas. Like, literally, this is borderline pajamas. Like, I just put these pants on for the stream. I had sweatpants on before. Okay, these are, like, my PJs. And they'll be like, you're literally dressing like a slut because you're dressing to what makes your body look good. You literally don't get fashion. You don't understand it. Like, if I wear something that complements my body because I'm curvy, oh, that's slutty. But the skinny girls can do it. Like, I'm still skinny, right? But because I'm curvy, oh, now it's wrong for me to dress to complement my body. But the skinny girls can do it. The flat-chested girls can do it, though, right? They, they can wear the things that they want to. But I can't. I can't dare to look even remotely attractive. Remotely. Like, even today, I have no makeup on except for the lip stuff, the lip stain. And someone will still come up in here talking about, oh, you dress like such a slut. They literally don't, when men come at me for my fashion, you don't understand fashion composition. They literally think, like, oh, you have a tiny piece of skin showing? Whore! You know, tell me you know nothing about fashion while telling me you know nothing about fashion. Fashion is literally about showing a proportion of skin because if you don't you'll tend to look frumpy especially if you're curvy so you're really fucking dumb you're dumb for saying that for saying oh don't wear crop tops don't wear something with a lip that's a little low cut it's like you don't understand how fashion composition works you have to show a piece of skin somewhere or it will tend to look frumpy unless you're super skinny so like they're just telling me to dress ugly for my body type because they're hating on my goddess body it's not my fault I was literally built like a goddess. It's not my fault I'm literally walking Artemis herself. Okay, I was just manifested like this. It's not my fault that you have, you're so ignorant against fashion that you don't know shit about it and you're gonna come at me for the way that I dress because I dress in an attractive way. Like you are no different than those feminist hater bitches that are trying to make everyone ugly like them. You are no better. Then the libtarded feminist bitches talking about don't wear crop tops. I have a long torso! Yes, I'm gonna wear a crop top. It makes me wanna pull my fucking hair out because these guys, they're like, don't wear a crop top. It's like, you don't even understand how proportions work. Not only do you not understand fashion composition, but you don't understand how proportions work either. They have no idea what having a long torso is. They have no idea, like, what having different lengths parts of your body actually means and how you have to dress for it. They're like, oh, just wear a full length top. I have a long torso. That's going to look retarded. Unless I were to wear high-waisted jeans. And then if I wear the high-waisted jeans with the full length top, do you know what men will say? Guess what they'll say, guys. Guess what they'll say? Ladies in here, tell me what the men will say when you wear high-waisted jeans. I'll wait. I'll wait. Because we all know what they, they say. Why are your jeans so high? Are you a grandma? They're so ugly. Eat shit. Eat shit. Any, any guy that's going to come for me for my fashion taste, because I show a tiny bit of skin somewhere, because I know and understand my body and fashion composition, eat shit. You don't know anything talking about, oh, just, just dress like a fucking grandma, bro. And then they'll hate you for that. Once you listen to their advice, they're like, wow, why are you so ugly? Why are you so stupid? They're so fucking annoying with that. To be fair though, I hate high-waisted jeans. Okay, but then I have to be allowed to wear crop tops. If you, if they're gonna tell me I can't wear high-waisted jeans when I have a long torso, you have to then allow me to wear crop tops because there's no other way to make my weight, my torso look shorter. It's gonna look disproportionate if I dress how they're telling me to dress. They're like, oh, just wear a turtleneck all the time. Meanwhile, I don't even look good in turtlenecks. I look okay. It's like, oh, it's like, 
accentuating sometimes, but it's like high neck stuff doesn't even look good on me. Like objectively speaking, because of my bone shapes, but they don't understand that. So like, I just can't stand that these guys who don't even understand fashion are gonna act like they do and tell me how to dress. You don't know shit about fashion. Don't tell me how to dress then. Cause their suggestions suck. They, just, they think it's like them. They think you go to the store. No, 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 they think you go to the store and you just like buy clothes and they just fit. That's not how it works for me at any part of my body, not my feet, not my, not the top part, not my hips. I, have to, I do not have an off the rack body. So get from up my ass telling me how to dress. I'm literally doing the best I can. Dan Holland, three pounds. Your jeans are considered turtleneck jeans. Yeah, but then when you try to be modest, they hate that too. When I wear high-waisted jeans, that's modest. It's, it's covering more skin. Oh, you're a grandma now. Oh, that's frumpy. Why are your jeans so high? Shut the fuck up. I don't give a damn if my downstairs neighbor doesn't like it. Okay, let me go through Super Chats. John Kennedy, $2. Do you like your eggs vaxxed or unvaxxed? I never heard of that cooking method before. One ninety nine from Dev Copper. Game over. Um, it's just begun, actually. Philip Huygen, okay, uh, two dollars super chat. Okay, let's get a little Brettler. I did go off. I did pop off. Eggs have to be unvaxxed, fuck hormonated eggs. Honestly, I buy like grass fed bread, and I buy grass fed eggs, and um. I also have like grass fed, like everything, like my water, like everything is like organical. Okay, 20 Australian dollars from Mahandra fan. Brittany, the hide book was a throwback. Oh wait, that was from before. Okay, so I think I'm caught up with the super chats and the website donations at um, BrittanyVenti.com. Okay, I need to start saying bing bong instead of um. I can't just keep saying um. BM $50, scramble eggs. Okay, we are scrambling them, don't worry. Thank you, BM, for the $50. Oh, wait, wait, I think he's doing sad face for scramble eggs. I think he wanted them over easy. Well, you know, the poll should give you insight for why everything can be fucked up by too many dumb people. It's unfortunate, isn't it? Smelly Trash Haver, $97, $50. Can you make an egg with in the toaster with onions and garlic no actually i don't feel like buying another pink toaster why would you know first first it's oh um you don't have to scramble an egg to make an omelet said the person who never made an omelet and they're like now now you have guys are coming at me in the donations where i can't avoid it where i can't just ignore it and you're like why don't you toast your eggs um because i don't want like dried egg cum in my food like i don't want to, every time i use my toaster I have dried egg cummies maybe that's why like you must be joking no i'm doing the same thing you guys do i'm gonna pretend he's serious and be mad at him because just because i feel like it that's what you guys do to women all the time i watch you i literally watch you i watch you do it so i'm doing it back to you how do you like it oh you don't stop doing it then learn your lesson learn your lesson Okay, hold on. Democracy works, but the people are retarded. Um, see, like, when you have a democracy, you have to make sure that a majority of the people aren't deficient in brain cells. But clearly that's not happening. Clearly that's not happening. Like, just look at chat. Clearly it's not happening. Andrew Thomas, uh, $5. Hey, sexy cook, Brittany. I always appreciate you and your cooking stream. Scrambled eggs are my favorite kind of eggs. They're your favorite kind of eggs? Are you okay, Andrew? Like, maybe you should seek help if they're your favorite eggs. Maybe you, you need to call in a friend or something. Like, I, I know you're going through, you must be going through something right now for you to say that, for you to say you like scrambled eggs the most. You must be going through something. I don't know what, but it's terminal. No, I, you guys are saying I need help at cooking? Someone chat just said that? Okay, no, I'm taking your advice, okay? I'm cooking the way you guys told me to, okay? So, 
Next up, are we cooking with butter or are we cooking with avocado oil? Let's do a poll. Start a poll, cooking eggs in avocado oil or butter. And yes, it's real butter. And in the meantime, let me just read the super chats while you guys vote on that. And I'll run it for like a minute, just like as soon as I see there's a, a, a big enough margin between the two. $5 from Clef the Misfit. Um is an important part of bimbo lexicon. Don't run from your roots. <coughs> Bing bong. $4.99 from Gum Gummo Dude. Doesn't the color of your air fryer mess with your OCD? No, because unlike the heathens in chat telling me how to dress when they know nothing about fucking fashion or composition, actually, this is a good color scheme. Why? Because magenta and green are opposite on the color wheel. It provides contrast. It looks pretty. It looks very bubblegum mint. It's cute. So no, actually, it doesn't. As you can see, it's very intentional. Like, only people who are really ignorant would think that this wasn't intentional. They like, look, look. but doesn't everything have to be one one thing? Doesn't everything have to be one color? Two colors? I can't count that high. That's literally what I'm hearing right now. Like, why do you think I bought this in this color if it wasn't intentional? Like, it's okay to do things that are out there if it looks intentional. This clearly looks intentional to you. Did, did you think it was a coincidence I, I bought the green bag or what? That I just, it just happened to be? No, clearly it's there for a reason. It looks cute. It doesn't, everything has, doesn't have to be pink. Sure, more things could be pink, like the backsplash, the microwave, I wish, if I weren't renting. But that doesn't mean the whole scheme has to only be pink. Like, you guys are psychos. Like, is this how you wear your clothes? Do you only wear monochromatic clothes because Kim Kardashian told you to? I can't deal with some of you. I can't deal with your thought process. Like, I don't know how you live. How do you live being that fucking stupid? Like, how do you live being, like, it's, like, bimbo power, but, like, you're, like, so unintentionally dumb. Like, you actually live your life in a way that, like, I would say as a joke. Like, I would, I would, like, do some of the things you guys tell me to do, but, like, as a joke. But you guys are, are dead ass. Like, yeah, you could dress in monochromatic. It could look good. But that doesn't mean everything has to be monochromatic. Are you out of your mind? Like, why, like, what am I? I'm a, I'm a robot. I have to, I have to go beep boop. I'm a woman. Beep boop. I, ouchie, I have period. I love Boop, boop, boop. Okay, in right position now. Hi. Boop. I'm Brittany. And I love pink. And puppies. And kittens. And also. Also. Reloading. And also Barbie dolls. And dresses. My favorite thing to do is shopping, but only under the budget that I'm given because I'm not a gold digger. I hate those gold diggers. Ooh. Boop, boop. Would you like a sandwich? Beep. Command, understood. It's like, it's, it's, it's like this perversion of like what you think a woman is like, Oh, like you have to have pink everything. No, I don't. I can have as much pink as I want or don't want. Thank you very much. You guys are like getting on my nerves right now. Like I'm trying to cook and you guys are getting on my nerves. What's the poll at? Okay, 76 of you said butter. Okay, so at least you guys chose that one, right? So we have the fryer and butter. We have two out of the three correct answers. That's, that's good. And yes, I am hangry. They should have known better than to come at me when I told them. I, Nina, I literally told them like 10 minutes ago that I was hungry. I literally told them. This is how men are. They'll be like, you'll tell them like, hey, I'm about to be on my period. Maybe don't fuck with me. And then they're like, she said fuck with her? That's how they act. Like, I literally tell them. I literally give them the warning. 
and they don't care and they just like press my buttons Van Halen five pounds avocado oil is for steak butter is for everything else like snacking like with Melanie that's not true so you cook your steak in oil you want as much fat as is possible with the steak to make it taste good you know what quick reminder Dan Holland is English and we don't listen to the English on how to cook Maryland like I, I want to go to England for the food said no one ever Maryland's ID two dollars super chat Brittany.exe stop working no Brittany.exe is running she's working she's being actually enslaved by chat right now just reading through chat okay turns for chat from Ted comment I like your abs you know, people gaslight me about my abs. I've been gaslit about having abs. It's like, just because people think abs only means six pack. Doesn't mean six pack. It also means the, like, the thing in the middle too. But like, people want to gaslight about that. Like, why are they gatekeeping abs? Like, don't you want people to be skinny? Malachi Rhodes, five dollars super chat. Hey, I ain't come in here for all the crying. Get to cooking. Well, you're, clearly you're slowing me down by pissing me off. And then you're going to make me go on a rant and then we're going to delay it further. Zeus play five dollars super chat. You look super cute. As for eggs, I like pan fried. Um, honestly, if you oven bake your eggs, that's like really fat because you're like, oh, uh, you know, cooking over the stove really gets me out of breath. Uh, $4.99 super chat from Kelly Chameleon, show cans or riot. Is that a girl saying that? Oh, by the way, I grew up with Sal Manila. He's actually a stand-up guy. Here's five. Five what? Like you're giving me a high five for that shitty joke? Dan Holland, five good person dollars. Avocado oil is for steak because it has a high smoke point you can get oil but you get the oil hotter before it burns you put the butter on the steak halfway halfway you know i'll actually give that a try that's like one of the only good suggestions i've ever gotten from chat okay so the poll do we end it oh yeah so pan fried butter eggs okay so i'm gonna go ahead i can't really move the camera around too much because I have it plugged into the charger so I'll bring you guys in closer when it's an important part so we have the chives that we cut up for that kimchi ramen still and we also have the onions that we cut up for the kimchi ramen as well it smells like armpit like you know when you're like really sweaty or someone's really sweaty not me I smell like maple syrup when I sweat um Anyway, the ingredients. So we're just gonna do a quick one for yes, two for no for some of these. Okay, no poll, just one for yes, two for no. Okay, as for cooking the scrambled eggs on the pan with butter, garlic cloves, one for yes, two for no, one for yes, two for no. I'm just gonna visually grasp it and whichever one, uh, it will determine if we use garlic or not. Okay, I'm seeing a mixed answer. Okay, I'm seeing more ones now. Okay, I'm seeing more ones. It's like 50-50. Okay, I'm seeing more ones. Okay, I think we're gonna use garlic. But now I'm seeing more twos. Okay. It just say, okay, how it looks to me in chat is everyone's pressing one, but then everyone's pressing two after, and then it's like a wave of one, a wave of two, a wave of one, a wave of two. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. So it's a yes for the garlic. Okay, pepperoncini. So this would go in afterward on top of the egg. One for yes, two for no, for a pepperoncini. One for yes, two for no, for pepperoncini. Not the garlic pepperoncini. It's a spicy pickled pepper. One for yes, two for now. Okay, this one's definitely getting more no's. This one's definitely a no. Okay. All right. Chili paste. It is very spicy 
chili paste that went into the kimchi ramyun. Um, it just makes things taste spicier. So one for yes, two for no for the chili starting now. One for yes, two for no. So it would go in the scrambled egg as opposed to on top of it, by the way. Okay. So if my mic's muted, I can say the N-word, right? Is the sound back? Okay. Thank goodness. Okay. Ooh. Close call. Um, so we're going to use the chili paste. They look like mostly X. Okay. Onions or green chives? Um, you have to pick one. I'm not using both. Green onions, so they can be put in at the beginning and after as a topping, or onions, which only goes on before, and you cook it with the eggs. Onion or green onion? Onion or green onion? Just say onion if you want onion, green onion if you want me to do green onion. Okay. Most people are saying green. We're going to go with green. Thank you, Monkey Head, for being a member for seven months. No onion? No. We have enough people with bad taste in chat. Okay, we're going green onion. I guess no stinky armpit vegetable. Okay. I need a break. This is so much work. $50 from Smelly Trash Hopper 97. Calhoun is raging every time I donate each shit Calhoun. Um, you know, there are a lot of people who are just really obsessed with me. And like, I literally don't even like guys, this is how sad this is. I want you to actually think about it. Okay, I have a situation because I recently closed down my discord. I have a situation where like now because of that, I have a lot of haters and they're all congregating against me. And I just want to say like, it's really sad. And this happens like all the time. Like this happens every few months, like haters congregate in some place, some forum, some discord, uh, some, some group chat. They, they usually have these like group chats where they're like busy being up my ass, you know, like up my ass. And they make like a lot of conspiracies based on nothing, based on like he said, she said, like, oh, this guy said that he was close to her when like I literally had like one conversation with the person. And then so like a lot of people like will get Orbiter's Remorse. If you guys recall, I made a video on this a while back. It's called Orbiter's Remorse. And it's when simps get mad that you won't fuck them. So then they go from like being obsessed and simping over you to like, I hate this bitch. She's, they always go with this one. They always would be like, she's a whore. Like if I were a whore, maybe I would have fucked you. You wish, you wish I were a whore. But you know, a lot of these people will congregate and um, just commit cringe. And what's really sad about it is like, you know, let's be honest. A lot of us here don't have lives. Um, but have you considered getting one? But have you considered that? Because it might be good for you. And it's okay if you don't have a life. Like, honestly speaking, if you just have, like, a really calm life, that's fine. But when you go and you take that boredom and you're putting so much energy into someone who wouldn't even breathe in your direction, literally never met these people, never conversed with these people, never did anything that was substantially morally bad to these people, act like I personally murdered their fucking puppy. And they're literally acting this obsessive. Okay, congregating in groups, guys. Like, I see it. I'll, I'll like, make a video. Someone will make a hate comment. And literally, within three seconds, that comment will have seven likes. 
And they think they're slick. They think they think I don't know. They think they're fucking slick for it too. That's the worst part. Like you think you're slick. You're not at all. I'm watching you get seven likes in three seconds. I know you're talking shit. So like, I just don't get it. Like, how can you be that obsessed with someone that literally doesn't even involve themselves in your life? You don't, you, it's not a job. You're not making content off of it. You're not a, a public figure, right? It's not like I'm making a video on like some morally bad YouTuber, right? That's different. That's when people say, oh, you're obsessed. Like anytime I cover news, you're obsessed, right? That's not what obsession is. Obsession is like this beta orbiter's remorse, this like simp remorse that happens like I could not be any more distant I could not be any more distant I could not flirt any less like guys we sit here for three hours talking shit to each other I don't know what more I can fucking do I don't know what the fuck else you expect me to do to not to like people claim I lead them on lead them on with what looking looking at the camera I led you on by looking at the camera and you donating money to what the fuck what the fuck? Like, I could never be this obsessed with people who don't aren't even in my life. I could never be this obsessed with people and spend the energy and time. Do you know how much attention is worth? It's the most valuable resource on this goddamn earth. Why do you think every religion is based on that currency? Okay, it's the most powerful thing on this earth. And you're going to give it to me? Thanks, I guess. But, like, you're also wasting your shitty life obsessed with someone who's not even in your life. I could never, I could never obsess over someone that didn't have to do with like my work or my personal life like that. I don't get it. You guys are terminally parasocial. It is honestly really sad that you would be obsessed with someone who wouldn't even breathe in your direction. That is so sad. And that's really the only time I'm, I'm going to address this probably because I just have to speak on that. It is sad. Oh, you know what they'll say in response, by the way? You know what's actually sad? You know what's actually sad is that you're a hypocrite and your ex, you don't have eggs, and like you had boyfriends before. Oh my God. How does my breakfast taste? Since you're so far up my ass, you could tell me. Guys, I'm not making this up. They literally go on like these tangents, like paragraph tangents. One guy spent every day posting on his Facebook about me. And I, I had one conversation with this person, two conversations. They were not intimate at all. It was just like, very like, here's some conversation. Or like, hey, can you like pull, pull a card for me? Or like, oh, hey, like this is, or that. Like, I'm not even emotionally involved with this person. And they act like they're my ex or something. They act like they went on dates with me. It's fucking sad. And like these people will literally run these like hate clicks posting on me on Facebook every day, stalking me. Look, guys, no, we need to talk about this before I cook food because like, it's getting ridiculous. I'm, I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. Like you thought like any chance of me reopening that discord has pretty much gone to zero because of this shit, by the way. This is why I closed it. Cause there's so much fucking, not only was it like, I need time to do other shit and other projects. Yes, that's a factor, but also clearly like a lot of people here are fake. A lot of people here are obsessed with me. A lot of people here are so, had their claws so fucking deep in my fucking ass, trying to investigate every little move I fucking make when it has nothing to do with them, doesn't affect them, doesn't harm anyone. And then they want me to, to like, uh, give them attention. They want me to talk to them. You want me to invest my energy in you guys? You want me to invest my energy in people who are evil people who have bad intentions you have bad intentions you want me to yourself you think that i'm an object and you can have me to yourself and that's why a lot of these sims are fucking angry because i won't fuck them because i won't sexually pander because i won't become a cam girl because i won't open only fans that's why they're obsessed with me that's why they're obsessed with talking about oh and pulling and grasping for any fucking straw they can find oh you're like an only fans girl because uh you have, you have big tits. Like, I can't, I fucking, I can't with these people. I can't. 
like they will grasp at anything to try to describe me in a way that I wouldn't like because that's how you insult someone and they're doing it because I won't fuck them because I won't pander them because I won't flirt with them on stream I won't flirt with them in private DMs and a lot of these streamers no no we're gonna we're gonna talk about this for a second okay this was gonna be up all about cooking I am gonna cook we have the materials out but this needs to be said because I'm, I'm done with it a lot of these girls that are out here in the top 1% of content creators, do you know how they got there? I'm talking as someone who's in the, on the inner circle, okay? From inside out. I'm telling you guys from the inside what goes down. Most women, no, it's true. Like 90%, it's a large percent, okay? If it's not 90, it is a large fucking percent. It's more than half. These girls are literally out here flirting their way to the top, sucking their way to the top. And it's fine if you, guys, if you want to date people within your own field, that makes sense. That's fine. That's not what I'm talking about. These women will go and date purposely with the intent to socially climb. How can you tell? Because when they're done with them, first off, usually it ends up being something like um, the woman doesn't actually even have like a real relationship, right? Like, yes, do men do that shit and women too. But like, do, do people in the modern time do that shit where they're like, oh, like we're, we're not going to call this label. Yeah, they do. That happens. Right. And sometimes people get fucked because of that. Like you want to be with someone and they are leading you on. And that's an actual thing that happens. We know that, but that's not what's happening here with this orbiters remorse shit, by the way. Um, and we know that happens to people have real relationships and they have to be in the same field. We know that happens too. But the difference is, like, you have real relationships, people who are actually trying to find love, trying to find their significant other, their forever person, and they'll try to go with people who are in a similar field because it's more compatible in some ways. But then there's people who literally fuck their way to the top. Like, how is it that you're dating this professional e-games player, esports player? You, next time it's another professional esports player, and the next time it's and it's always someone bigger than them. Every time, every single time they date, it's someone bigger than them. Which is fine. You want someone who makes more than you, okay? But it's like if it were in a vacuum, okay? But it's like every time these girls they have like a very short-lived relationship it, or a non-relationship with the bad intention. Keep in mind, there's bad intent here. There's malice. They're not trying to pursue an actual husband okay and they go and they use these male creators to suck their way to the top okay and you can tell with the way that they act they flirt with their viewers constantly they they're very much like trying to invite them in play girlfriend simulator and they also use the men within the entertainment industry that are better than them hire them for whatever reason um Maybe they're in the background. Maybe they're part of production and they have a lot of connections. And then they go and date those guys, these like female content creators. And then that's how they make it big. Like literally, I want you guys to go through like the top 500 Twitch streamers and tell me which ones didn't suck their way to the top. Like it will be extremely rare. It will be really, really rare. A lot of girls, this is how like, and it's a lot of podcasters too. Like their daddies will be rich, giving them money to fly people out. Um, they, they always have like the, a means of like using men, not always, but like 90% of the time they have like this means of using men by using their sexuality to get where they are a lot. I'm sorry. I have to speak the truth. A lot of female content creators do that. And that's the reality of it. A lot of them are not self-made. They're not. They use men to go to the top. They do. They use their pussy power. So it's really insulting to me. And I'm tired of fucking seeing it. It's really insulting to me when I, as somebody who was orphaned at 16, and I'm literally self-made, okay? I didn't get famous because of any other male streamer. I didn't get famous because of dating any particular person. I was dating a normal person when I was 15 up till 18. He was uninvolved on the internet. Didn't even have a fucking job, by the way. I was supporting him, okay? And I'm orphaned, and I'm having to pay rent. I was self-made. That's the definition of self-made. I didn't flirt with anyone. I didn't do shit. I didn't have to use my sexuality in that way at all. People say, oh, you had cleavage. Okay, yeah, I have big boobs and I wear a tank top. Sue me. This is what I was talking about earlier with the whole like, how dare you dress to look good in your body? They act like I walk around dressing like a fucking stripper because I have big boobs and wear a tank top. Like, get fucking real. 
And even like, what, what are we valuing here? We're valuing someone wearing a tank top as being worse than women who are literally sucking their fucking way to the top, flirting with their male viewers. But I'm the criminal here. I'm the thought here. Okay. Okay. When I'm one of the only ones, I'm sorry, I'm going to, I'm going to rub for myself. I am one of the only ones who didn't suck their way to the top, who actually was self-made. I had no parents. I have no siblings. I had no help. I was the only one living in Connecticut. I had no family there. Okay. So it's really pissing me off at this point and I'm going to be done with it. I'm going to go on this rant and I'm done with it for real because it needs to be said. I never got to address it. I'm addressing it now. I'm one of the only people who are self-made that's a female. It's on the rare side nowadays. Does not happen a lot. A lot of people date their way to the top, suck their way to the top, flirt with their viewers. I'm one of the few that doesn't do that, has never done that. In the nine years I've streamed, eight, nine years. And yet they're gonna come out here coming at me, calling me the thought, talking, having orbiter's remorse, having simp remorse, talking about, oh, she's such a whore, this, this, and that. Based on literally nothing, based on me going on dates, going, you mean trying to find my husband, trying to find my other person? I think I'm, I'm a whore for that. I'm a whore because I have big boobs and I wear a tank top and that's what happens when you wear a fucking tank top? Get fucking real. These simps have got to fucking stop. These, these low life, bottom sucking, scum sucking simps have got to go. They've got to stop. You have to get a life. You have to stop being obsessed with me. I literally don't talk to you. I literally, I don't do anything. I don't even breathe in your fucking direction. And you guys are out here writing paragraphs on, on conspiracy, on, oh, this story I made up, literal fucking fan fiction, acting like you're a, you're a mad ex-boyfriend. Based on what, me having one say, oh, thank you for this, hello, goodbye. And sometimes not even that. Sometimes I don't even know their fucking name or their face. And they're gonna talk to me like they're a sour ex-boyfriend going on fucking forums typing, oh, did you know the, like, she's actually not the thing she says. I have, I don't have a history of lying. I don't have a history of, of like any sort of like huge type of scandal or anything like that. My record is like pretty good. I'm not perfect. Am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect, but I'm like pretty good. I'm pretty consistent. Can people change? Yeah, you can. You can change your opinion. I'm pretty straightforward. I'm pretty blunt. Like, yeah, I'll say something tongue in cheek sometimes. Sometimes I, I joke around. Sue me. Yeah, women can joke around. Sue me. So it's just so, it's just like so fucking annoying because I know everyone gets haters, but for me in particular, there's something about me where I attract very mentally ill people and I attract people who are very obsessive. No matter how little energy I give them, they just cannot get off of my ass. They cannot get from up my ass. They're stuck in there. I'm constipated because there's so many fucking nematode scum feeding bastards up my ass. I can't take a shit without you guys posting about it. And it's like, it would be understandable if I'm like sitting here having 10 different meltdowns, reacting to the haters. Like, yes, I'll respond to chat like quick little like, fuck you for saying that. But I'm talking about like, I'm really like, I'm, I don't know, like boogie would be a good example of him like having meltdowns, right? I'm not pulling a boogie. And they, but they just keep going. They just keep going. They just stay up my ass. They just keep going. Writing more and more fan fiction. Watch, even after this, it'll be a 10 page fucking fan fiction on some group they have, some forum they have. Watch. No, that's what's going to happen because that's what happens. And this has been going on. It's getting out of fucking control. It is getting out of control because I, and, and it literally comes down to, I'm telling you guys, it comes down to my attention points because I refuse to give them attention points until this point. When I addressed it just now, I gave them no attention points. I don't give you any of my energy because I don't have it. I have my own shit to deal with. I'm, I'm trying to figure out my own struggles and my own journey. I have to relearn shit I should have learned or learn shit I should have learned like 10 years ago from having parents, but I didn't. I have to figure so much shit in my own life out like that, not serious, horrible things, but like just like day-to-day -day stuff and improving myself. You think I have time? 
You think I have time to give every person who wants an attention points? I'm sorry, there's not enough. There's not enough attention points for me to go around. And I'm gonna reserve it and withhold it for people who actually deserve it and matter. And sometimes even the people who deserve it and matter to me don't even get it. Cause I just sometimes don't have it. I have, I'm doing shit in my own life. I have, to, I have to read books. I have to study another language every day. I have to work. I have to organ. I have to manage my social media. I have shit to do. I have personal life shit too. My interpersonal relationships. I don't have time for all these people that want my attention so fucking badly. They're so obsessed. And it is literally because I won't give them attention. If I, I promise you, no, because I promise you, listen, Lynn, listen, this is the most important part of what I'm going to say. I promise you, if I were to go to these betas who have orbiters remorse, these simps who feel like they've been betrayed because I won't fuck them, if I went to them and I were like, hey, winky face, that's my attempt at winking, wanna like hang out? Do you wanna like, do you want a game together? Wouldn't that be so fun? Like we played WoW or like League of Legends. Yeah, how are you? Like, they would be all over me. They'd be fucking wet. They would be wet. They would shut the fuck up immediately if I did that. If I was flirting with them, immediately they would shut the fuck up. They would stop. The, the, the hate writing, it would dead, drop dead. It would be silent. If I actually did, that's, the, that's what they're pissed about because I won't do that. Because I won't bend down to them. I don't care how much. Guys, I don't, I'll be homeless first. I, I've already been there. Okay, let's not forget where my roots are, okay? I was 16 orphan. I very well could have been homeless. I had no family taking me in. Okay? I'm alone in Connecticut, having to figure out how to pay my bills and having a boyfriend who doesn't have a job. Okay? So you think that I don't put my words in my mouth, it's I will. I will literally, I will literally risk homelessness before I give you fucks attention, before I give you ugly dipshits, literally could not even be the mat that I walk on. You're not good enough for me to rub my fucking feet on. I'd rather, I'd rather have no mat to rub my fucking feet on than to walk on you. Pissing, it, it's so, it's, it's pissing me off because of how moronic it is. It doesn't get fucking dumber than this. They're literally mad I won't walk on them. I'll get my cat to piss on you. Not even then. You have to pay for that. So, in conclusion, get from up my ass. Uh, stop being so obsessed with me when I give you literally no attention. I literally give you nothing. And you're not that obsessed. It's not healthy. You're getting nothing from it. You're just annoying. Like, you guys could die tomorrow. You can literally die. And you guys are like, oh, yeah, duh, of course I knew that. No, but do you actually ever think about that? Do you want to, do you want to know something? You, you think that you're healthy? You're not as healthy as you think, probably. You could die tomorrow. Could literally, it happens so quick, guys. People, that's what's so shocking about death. Someone is dead, and you're like, but I just saw you an hour ago. How can you be lifeless on the floor? I just saw you. How are you lifeless in that hospital bed? Young people die all the time. Especially after the, you know what. So, I really implore you for your own good. I don't care. Honestly, I, I, I'm on the cusp of saying I don't care for your good. Because you're just so fucking annoying. Like, you're so malicious that I actually think it's karmically bad for me to even help you. So I don't even know if, if me giving this advice is even good karma, to be honest. Um, because you are so fucking beneath me that you are literally like an ant. I don't even want to, you know how you don't want to step on a bug so ruin your shoe? That's how I feel about them. That's how I feel. Because they have no, they have no sort of redeeming value. They don't actually, they think they have critical thinking by being critical of someone they're like look how smart i am it's like intellectual jerk off you're fucking stupid you could die tomorrow and you want you want people to remember you for your dumb internet forum post that wasn't even funny it was just like oh this girl's a whore based on this like thing i heard from this other person that isn't even fucking true i'm very private about my relationships 
in the past i'm very private especially after that incident i was going to be private about that and then he he started it so i ended it okay i've had a lot of bad experiences bad 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 experiences including with with maybe like a public figure okay i didn't say shit i'm very private i i take my relationships very seriously okay i'm i'm serious about trying to find the other person my mission is to have children that is what I was sent here to do. I know my mission. Do you know yours? Is it writing about how Brittany Bentley is a whore on the internet? And, and congregating in these literal hate groups? And typing about it? Like, is that, is that your purpose? Is that why you were sent here? You could die tomorrow. You're going to remember it for what? For that? Worthless. Pathetic. Orbit, Orbiter's remorse is absolutely fucking terminal. Terminal mental illness. <clears throat> and that's all, that's what I'm going to say on that. And I never speak on it. That's what I said. I said what I said. Oh, I just wanted to come on here and cook some eggs. But you know what? It had to be said. Yeah, I did go on a tangent. So what? So what? You know what? For, for how many years of unfair shit that has been said about me, how little credit was actually given to me overall for the things that I've done, I complain very little. For, to ratio that, I complain very little. Believe it or not. For the amount of polarization that happens. Like I said, for some reason, I get people who are terminally obsessed I don't know why I get such polarized people. Maybe it's because I'm blunt. Maybe it's because I'm honest. Maybe it's because I'm too good looking. I don't know. But for some reason, they're terminally mentally ill. They have terminal orbiter's remorse. And it's so sad. Brewmaster Monk, $5 super chat. The crazies are coming for our favorite image board. Regardless, keep your chin up. You have a positive influence on our culture. Thank you. And what do you mean? They are the underwater basket weaving forum? I, you know, everyone already knew it was about time before they started to try to shut that down. Orbiter's remorse. Orbiter's remorse is when simps, because someone chats asking, Orbiter's remorse is simps, are simps who are angry that you don't give them enough attention, so then they go from simping you to being regretful about it, and then they start talking about how you're, like, either, like, dumb, ugly, or a whore. That's what Orbiter's Remorse is. And I have like, I have so many strong cases of it in my, in my chat, in my community, so to speak. I don't even want to say that. Like, you're not part of my community. And also, like, also, some people and some people will be really, um, just know that I know your intentions. That's what I'll say. Know that I know your intentions. Anyway, this stream is, um, is sponsored by Starbucks. BM, thank you for being a, nine, a member for 19 months. You're cool, Brittany. You're a real one. And why continue watching? Continue being awesome. Oh, I'm not going to stop. Like, you think I would just stop? I'm not going to stop. No, it's really hard though. Like, cause think about it guys. I either, I either, if I, if I'm too nice, men take that as I'm flirting. Right. And then I must, I'm an evil succubus that's taking their money. Right. That's on one end. Then on the other end, you have like Amaranth who steps on her viewers. Cause obviously she's like pouring herself out. Um, and she does this for like pandering to their sexuality. It's like very much not ironic and treating them like shit in that way. Right. It's like a humiliation ritual. Oh, I'm going to step on you. Oh, I'm getting off on it. Cause I'm being humiliated. So it's like either like if I, if I, if I fight back, it's, it's under humiliation ritual. If I'm nice, it, I'm a flirting whore. I fuck everyone. Do you understand like why it feels like I can't win? Do you understand, like, maybe that's why I come across as a bitch? 
Because you can't be nice to these people. They get Arbiter's Remorse. You can't be fucking nice to them. You can't have nice conversations. We can't have nice things. Because there are simps who get butt hurt. That's why we can't have nice things. At least as, as a woman. I can't have nice things. I can't say nice things. I can't be genuine. Because there's too many butt hurt simps. There are too many simps who are angry at me when they should be angry at themselves. It's not my fault you find me attractive. I'm not wearing like fucking bondage gear. I'm wearing a goddamn t-shirt and cargo pants. SP Elite $2 Super Chat. Bronto, can you make huevo con chorizo? I'm not, I don't make, the only Mexicanese food I make is tacos and chicken fajita. Kelly Chameleon, 490 Super Chat. Not white, not ethnic, enough to say N-word, triggered by chat, hammerhead guy from Star Wars. IP2 rent must be written inventing. Why don't you stop doing the same meme that was burnt out like five years ago? Oh yeah. Also, um, I just want to say this stream is sponsored by the by um BLM as well. And this stream is also sponsored by Limited Run Games. Because Limited Run Games just loves what I have to say. So they sponsored me. So be sure to thank them for sponsoring me. Thank, go ahead, I want you guys to go ahead and thank Limited Run Games for sponsoring me. And show them your favorite piece of content of mine that they're happy that they sponsored. Like show them like why they should be thankful that they sponsored me. But yeah, I did a bunch of shout outs to all the different companies that are sponsoring me on Twitter today. Um, so I'm just doing, I'm just doing an ad read. Don't mind me. <clears throat> and also, um, I heard that Limited Run Games, the reason that they sponsor me is because they really like that I follow people like Libs at TikTok who post about transgenders indoctrinating children for their own sick pleasures. So thank you, Limited Run Games, for sponsoring me today. I really appreciate it. And, you know, I agree. Like, women generally, like, aren't as good at gaming. So, yeah, thank you, Limited Run Gaming, for sponsoring me. Um, I think you're really helping the cause. I just want to say, like, I, I, I know that Limited Run Gaming is getting a lot of hate right now, but I really think that they're really good people for sponsoring me because, like, they're helping the cause for girl gamers everywhere. Like, firing women helps the gaming community. So, thank you, Limited Gaming, for sponsoring me. Anyway. Be sure to thank them. Yeah, the stream is also sponsored by Ukraine. Um, 199 Super Chat from CSD. Being a public figure can't be fun. Yeah, honestly, the most, like, annoying part isn't even just, like, oh, you get a lot of, like, mean commas. It's, like, when they go and try to invade uh, things that have nothing to do with them, they go into your personal life trying to speculate who are you dating, who are you not dating, what are the time periods you dated. Like... Is it really that interesting? Is it really that interesting to sour simps? Fillmore, five dollar super chat. We get it. You can't make rent this month. Just say so. By what? By doing a bimbo bistro shoot? By cooking? Cause I don't order out. Cause I'm not eating a bunch of seed oils, oils every day like you. Measles, please, 20 Canadian dollars. A lot of men do ruin it. Platonic love doesn't exist in our society because of this. You're the first girl I see that actually talks about stuff like this. You're straight up real. Most people try to appeal to everyone. Yeah, that's the thing. These sour sims have some fucking audacity with their orbiter's remorse talking about, oh, I'm a whore because I don't give them attention because we all know this is the reason. Meanwhile, like, guys, if I were doing that, if that were truly my intention, why aren't I um, being general? Like, why, when someone asks me my preference for dating, why am I specific? 
I'm like, nope, I would not date someone that's below this height. I would date someone who looks or acts this way. They, I like these qualities. Why would I say that? That automatically excludes a lot of people watching that would otherwise simp for me and give me money out of that, in that vein. So if I were really like out here for that, if I, if I was really pandering and, and a whore and flirting with all my viewers and that's how I get ahead is just by like people wanting to fucking and all that, okay? I can't help that I look good, okay? That's beside the point. But what is part of the point is if I really were doing that, wouldn't it be in my best interest to shut the fuck up? Wouldn't it be in my best interest to be more agreeable? Wouldn't it be in my best interest to never talk about my preferences? Like, if a woman were actually pandering to her audience based on them wanting to fuck her, and then she's pandering to them based on that, wouldn't she go and be like, I love short kings. Would, would that not be the response? Because now, oh, like now 300 of you in here, now you want me more. Because I said I love short kings. Like... I, I would do that. You think I'm you, like, you can think I'm stupid, but do you think I'm that stupid as a woman? Do you? Do you think I'm that stupid? Like if I wanted to pander to men, there's so many things that I would be doing differently. I wouldn't be so honest. I wouldn't tell you. I wouldn't answer when someone asked me that. Because I don't, I don't have to. I don't have to rely on people wanting to fuck me. I show up stream with no makeup if I feel like it, like I did today. All I did was put on lip stain, like some moisturizer on my fucking lips. Okay, you don't think that if I were pan, like if I wanted to pander men, I wouldn't show up like in a full, full face makeup, like put on a lot of foundation, contour, everything. Like I would be doing that. I would, I would be dressing a lot more slutty. I would be flirting with my viewers. I would be giving a lot more personal interaction in that same vein. Some personal interaction is fine, I'm sure. It can be done right, because you want to talk to your, to your viewers. That makes sense. But we all know what I'm talking about. I'm not playing Girlfriend Simulator. It's pretty obvious I'm not playing Girlfriend Simulator. Anytime where it's been Girlfriend Simulator, it's like to make fun of the Girlfriend Simulator. It's a bit. And it's pretty obvious when it is. But some of you don't understand satire. You don't understand that, yeah, satire, there is a line you can't cross because then it becomes unironic. I don't cross that line. I have discernment. I know that I'm not crossing the line. So let's dispel this fiction from these sour sims. Let's dispel this fiction that I'm a whore because I won't fuck them or because I dated people before because I'm, I try to find my husband. Just say you just say that you you don't date then. Just say that you also like have no options. Like if you're saving yourself, yeah, but a lot of a lot of these guys, a lot of these sour stems, they're not saving themselves for the right one. They're doing it because they have no options. And they're coming at me for it, projecting. That's a call to projection. Because I can go on dates and you're mad about it because I'm not dating you because you can't get dates. That's what it is. It's not I'm a whore. It's that you're a loser. Learn the difference. Get some discernment. Five dollars from Stan M. I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because people out there in our nation don't have maps. Like minor attracted persons. I, I, I hope that there are no maps. The crazies, Brewmaster Monk, five dollars for chat. The crazies are coming from our favorite image board. Oh yeah, we already saw that. Three pounds from Dan Holland. Alt Universe, Brittany, be like some spare change. I told you guys, being a streamer is just being like an internet hobo. Like all I need is a is a cardboard box, and it, it would be the same thing. Two dollars super chat from SP Elite. Hello, Brit. Brought new Vantro. How's your day going? <laughs> mm, that must have been before the rant. Malachi Rhodes, $5 super chat. Brit, don't let the Sims get to you. Monetize them like Eric July. Make some content out of them. Agreed. John Kelly, $10 super chat. Do you think Mersh is paying for Ashton Witty's OnlyFans? Um, I don't know. I don't have an interesting answer for you for that. Mike D, $2 eggs just hatched. 
Toast from John Kennedy, Jennifer Lawrence can make better eggs. Bet? You want to find out? I'm cooking eggs the way you guys are telling me. I'm, I'm cooking eggs. I'm cooking the way, eggs the way you're telling me. So we'll see. Did you see the Olivia Dunn with Sims? The thing with Olivia Dunn with Sims? No, I didn't. Logan, my lips are dry now. Now I have to reapply this lip tint moisturizer. You're wearing, you're wearing, she says she's not wearing makeup. Literally earlier she I said, yeah, tinted moisturizer, tinted lipstick. Oh, actually, like, and they'll make up some, I've literally seen these people say that I don't have blue eyes. Like, not because, like, there's a color discrepancy, because they think I'm wearing contacts. They think I'm wearing, con like, I literally, I, what am I supposed to do? Fight in the fucking mud pit? Am I supposed to toss her around with the pigs in the fucking mud pit? I have to sit here and defend myself if I have blue eyes? The fuck am I supposed to do? What, is that what they want from me? I have to sit here and, and denounce if I have blue eyes? $5 super chat from John Kennedy. For your situational awareness, I make two sunny side up eggs and put them on toast avocado guacamole mix. Just say you're rich. And a few straps of bacon. No, guacamole mix is so expensive. That's why I don't buy it. It's like honestly not worth it. It's good, but it's like not really that worth it. Also, steak can ideally be cooked in a cast iron skillet. Non-stick Teflon can leach into the food. Temperatures too high. It could be cancerous. That's true. I do want a um, a cast iron. Five dollar um, it's from. Oh yeah, that was about the avocado oil. Okay, I think I read them all. I think we're like up to code now. You know what you guys are? You guys are like the fucking, the, the, the sour sips with the Orbiter's remorse. They're like the fucking Yelp reviewers of my kitchen. They're, these Yelp reviewers, nothing's good enough for them. They won't shut the fuck up. And they're stupid. That's why that they're, that's why the only thing they can do in their life is leave a fucking Yelp review talking about, um, actually, it was five minutes too late. Yelp reviewers. That's what they are. Coming to my kitchen telling me how to cook. Then don't eat here. You gonna Yelp review me negatively? Don't eat here then. And you know what I think of Yelp reviewers? <laughs> no, they would like that. Never mind. They would like that. They want any, any ounce of attention or energy. Five dollars from Mala Cheer Roads. What are your dating preferences? Dick. Dick is my dating preference. Three dollars from Deranged Lunatic. Good evening, Miss Brittany. Sorry I'm late. What if I miss? How's the finger doing? Oh, thank you for asking. So my finger actually is doing really well. It healed really good because guess what? I dispelled your negativity that you guys were sending at me, trying to literally get me killed, trying to physically harm me, metaphysically. They're like trying to send their bad juju at me. And I said, fuck you, you. Guess what? Dispelled, dispelled. My fingers are great, thank you. See, everyone was saying, oh, it's gonna blister and everything. No, actually it didn't. It actually looks like nothing happened because I'm a better person than you. So my body actually heals faster than you. I'm literally compared to, literally compared to these dirt eating leeches, I'm literally a superhuman. They have no control over their emotions. They, they have no idea how to regulate their emotions. They have no control over their bodies and they have no control over their lives. And it shows in the way that they come at me over nonsense, over things that aren't even true, over just their pure hatred because they have nothing else to focus on. They don't, they're not in the present moment. They're not focusing on themselves. They don't know what the fuck that means, by the way. They have no idea what that means. That's how far removed they are. Yeah, I'm scratching my head too, guys. I'm scratching my head too. Just came here and make some eggs and I, I gotta deal with this. But you know what? It had to be done. The trash had to be taken out into the pink bin where you go and belong. You know what happens to trash, guys? Do you, guys, what happens to trash? What happens to trash? 
what do we do with trash? You throw it away, right? What happens after that? You never see it again. You never see it again. You never think of, do you think about the trash after you take it out? I don't think about trash after I take it out. So I'm just taking the trash out so I can continue my day and cook and throw the things out into my trash. That's what these sour sims are. These beta orbiters, I'm using the old school term, these sour sims, beta orbiters, the orbiter of remorse, I'm addressing them now because I'm taking the trash out. And I'm not gonna think about it afterwards because I don't think about trash after I take it out. Oh, the bag broke. Oh, let me get another bag. Trash, thrown out, dumpster. Bye-bye. Done. You've been taken out. And I'm not a tsundere. You wanna find out? Wanna find out who's one? It's yandere to you. You keep fucking with me. Two dollars from Brewmaster Monk. Their stores are great for cheap cast iron pans. Ooh. Actually, maybe I'll look into that. I don't know though. That sounds kind of gross though. That sounded good at first, but then it's like, okay, but cast irons are made for stuff to stick on them, to season them, but then you're at a good, well, ugh, no. Actually, no. That's actually terrible stretch. That's actually kind of gross. I'm not that poor. Like, I will never be that poor. I, I could be homeless on the street and I still will not be poor enough to shop at Goodwill for a cast iron. Like, that's the honest truth. And they hate to see it. They hate to see me telling the truth. They can't stand it because they can't be honest with themselves either. And that's why. Face man, $10 super chat. Fantastic show. Also, ceramic skillet is safe, non-stick alternative. Iron skillets are hard to clean in my experience. Ceramic skillet. I'm pretty sure mine are ceramic. I made sure to not get that, like, B B BPA Teflon shit. I'm pretty sure this is ceramic. Um, apparently Lisa Marie Presley is dying. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna make some scrambled eggs. Okay, I don't have any like ceramic. I have this one. I'll, I'll mix the eggs in this unless I can find a metal bowl. Okay, we're gonna use this one. About time. Oh, about time? Okay, oh, some. I guess some of you have fallen asleep. Wake up. It's time to eat. Monkey head, $15, $5 super chat. Um, monkey head, $15, $5 super chat. I'm not poor enough to ever shop at Goodwill, ever. Never catch me in there. You literally watched me hold the Oive mug in Goodwill. He's lying. He's literally slandering me. Okay. So, how many eggs should we cook? Type a number in chat from one to four. How many eggs should we cook for scrambled eggs? I see a lot of fours. I agree. I think four. It's not hot this time. Stop fucking breaking. So, okay, something about this metal pan. Okay, normally I break it over here because, okay, I cook my eggs over easy. I don't scramble my eggs. I know how to make them scrambled. I can make an omelet. But I, I normally just, you know, because over easy, you just crack it into the pan. So I'm just, 
I'm having to use my, I'm having to use leverage here to even crack this egg in here. So I'm trying to show you guys how to crack an egg. Super shot from Face Man. Um, oh yeah, I read that one. Thank you. You crack an egg with a spoon. I'm not like that's like if you're boiling an egg. Okay. So we're scrambling the egg with a fork. Um, a lot of people will use a whisk, and I guess your hobby is washing dishes or something. Because I'm certainly not using a whisk with eight different wires. I'm have to wash down every wire. I'm like going hoarse. Like I, I'm like losing my voice from that rant earlier. But yeah, I'm just, so how my mom taught me, um, one of the only things she ever taught me how to cook was pancakes. And that's how I know how to whisk an egg. So you actually like kind of like scrape the bottom with the fork and you're going in a circle. So that's how I use um, the fork on the egg. I don't know why some of you are bringing out a whisk. Like, it's a bit overdone. It's it's overdoing it. If you're using a whisk, it's overdoing it. Like, it's, oh my god! The people who use like the electric whisk on eggs, just on like you're not you're not baking anything, just for scrambled eggs. Like, who are you trying to impress? Tacky, tacky. You're tacky. You're larping. You're larping is high class, and it's disgusting. Like you are low class. If you whisk eggs with an electric whisker, you are low class. Like, why don't you just go eat a salad then? While you're at it. Like, go drink Diet Coke. So, you know, just like how fat people pretend to be skinny by eating salads, and no skinny people eat salads, uh, low class people pretend to be higher class and rich by whisking their egg with an electric whisker. You know damn well you can do it with a fork and even faster. Did we say yes for the garlic? I don't remember. I don't, I'm putting it away. I don't feel like doing it. I actually don't remember what we said for that. Okay, so I'm cutting off like one, one tablespoon of butter. You see that indent right there? It's about that much. And it's softened because I like spent so long ranting to you guys. So honestly, you can just like rip it off or like chop it off. And yes, I use the chopping knife because it's more fun. You're boring and you'll use a butter knife. Okay, be boring. But that's not me. I want to use the cool chopping knife. Like it's the same work to clean it. Okay. I might actually end up needing a little bit more butter because it's like four eggs, but... Okay, I need a chocolate milk break. I'm really tired now. <clears throat> yes, that was low class of me, but all of my mugs are like, they need to be washed and I don't feel like washing one right now. Maybe, oh, I have a better idea. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm about to redeem myself. I'm calling back my energy. <sighs> Chocolate milk tastes so much better when it's through a straw.
Okay, I feel better now. Nina was right, I was hangry. I feel better now. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you. Okay, so a lot of men in are giving me grief for using a straw, like, in the first perspective. And honestly, you're right. Men shouldn't use straws. Um, <clears throat> you should leave it for the women. I agree. So, we're going to cook. I'm going to turn the heat on medium. And we're going to sit here and wait three hours because it's an electric fucking stove and not a gas stove. The audacity, the audacity for them to ban gas stoves. New York has exactly one redeeming quality about it and it's gas stoves. And they're gonna be like, ban the only good kind of stove. It's like, you know why they're doing this? They're banning gas stoves because they saw me burn my finger on the electric stove. And they're like, you know what? We want more people to burn their fingers. We want, we want Brittany Venti to burn her finger. So we're gonna make gas stoves illegal. That's what they did. It's literally the matrix. The matrix is, the matrix is coming for me. That's why they're banning gas stoves. They saw in the last Bimbo Bistro that I burnt my finger and then, oh, magically two days later, a day later, they're banning gas stoves. Okay, yeah, coincidence. Yeah, okay. And maybe, maybe in your deluded heads, that's a coincidence, but it's literally the matrix coming for me. It was the matrix. That's why they're trying to ban gas stoves. Because they saw the damage it did to my finger and how it brought my spirits down. And how you can negatively attack someone's energy field by channeling your energy at them when they're cooking and burn your goddamn finger on the fucking stove because you can't see if it's on. That's why they want to ban gas stoves. That's the truth. But the Matrix is going to come for me for telling the truth. Anyway, the, the butter is melted. Okay, so really quick. The key to getting fluffy eggs is actually adding water. So we're going to add a little bit of water. <laughs> Not too much, though, because it'll ruin the egg. Oh, I forgot to put in salt. I'm gonna put the chives on. Okay, I need a quick one for yes, two for no in chat. Should I put cheese in it? I have, um, I think mozzarella. I'm probably gonna put mozzarella. One for yes, two for no, for cheese in the eggs. And say it quick, so I'm cooking. Okay, everyone wants cheese. Okay, I'll put cheese in it. I'll put it at the end. Okay, so this is how our pan looks right now. It's got some chives in it and some melted butter. Oh yeah, and we said we would put the Mr. Bing sauce in it. Let's do that too. I'm gonna put like, like that much. Like a little bit more. So like one serving. Was the kimchi a yes or a no? I don't think we surveyed for the kimchi, did we? I can't open this thing though. Ah. See, I, I definitely need a man. The fact that I struggled with that shows that I definitely need a man. Oh, if there was only a man in my chat, oh. See, that's what you would say, unironically, if you're trying to make money from Sims. 
and then they'll be like, actually, um, you can't just say that and then say it's satire, because I have no idea how the fucking comedy form works. I'm the expert. Actually, I'm autistic, so I can't tell when you're joking. So actually, satire is not valid. Shut the fuck up. Just because you are literally incapable of understanding an entire art form does not mean that I will now not perform it. That I will now not tell jokes because you're too autistic to understand them. Okay, I'm going to mix it one more time. Okay, Sriracha, yes or no? What, yes or no in chat? Yes or no, Sriracha? Yes or no? Yes or no? Type yes or no. Okay, everyone's saying yes. Okay, we're, we're going to put Sriracha on it. Is it open? I'm going to put it on last with the cheese. Okay, so this is important. So when you're cooking, it's going to cling to the sides. Scoop it from the sides toward the middle. And you'll see like, hold on, I'll bring the camera. I'll unplug this for a second so you can see. Okay. So you see how it, it's like clumped in the middle? It's because I'm doing this and you want to keep doing that basically until it's cooked. But you don't want it to be like rubber. Hold on. Do you understand? Say yes, I understand. So yeah, you see how it's like drawing on the side? You don't want that. So push it in the middle. So it looks like it's almost done already because the pan was already hot. Let me turn the camera. So what you do is at this point, you can start like flipping it over, right? And it looks pretty dry. So what we're gonna do is actually turn the heat off, off. Something I should have did last time. Maybe I wouldn't have burnt my finger. So now that's pretty much done. I don't want my eggs to be dry, so I'm going to remove it from the heat. You want your eggs to be wet. You guys wouldn't know anything about that, now would you? Sorry that my charm is in the way. I have a charm on my phone. It's like, dangling. there we go. So it's off the heat now, and it's doing something called after cooking which basically means that it continues to cook even though it's not directly on the heat. Okay, so it's done. And I'm gonna get a bowl, a, I'm gonna use my ramen bowl, Sailor Moon ramen bowl. something drop this shallow pink bowl So this is about four eggs. So this is me basically trying to bridge the gap with you guys. Like I'm cooking in the way that you're telling me, but I'm showing you how to do it the right way. That's the reason it came out good. Like you guys didn't know to add water. Look, it's fluffy. It's fluffy. Look, it has depth because I added water. But you guys are probably like, ew, well get corrected. I'm 
gonna let it cool off. And now for the sriracha. Ta-da. Haters will say it's fake. And I think it was a no for the pepperoncini. So, that goes back. I'll put the butter away later. So. Let's have a taste. Let's see how it tastes. If it if the kimchi is good with this alone, I'll add more. Because you don't want, you can always add more of something, but you can't take it away. So. It's not raw. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you guys like to play handball with your fucking eggs. I don't. I don't like my eggs that taste like rubber. Everyone who's saying raw in the chat, you literally eat steak well done. Oh, now someone in the chat is saying, um... They're dry. Make up your mind. They can't be dry and raw. They're pretty good. Normally, I can't eat eggs by themselves, but the kimchi and the um, the chili flakes, the, the chili oil is helping. You're right. I forgot the cheese. I don't want to add cheese. It's actually good on its own. I actually don't want to add cheese. I want more sriracha. Okay, and you guys are going to get added, mad at me for not adding cheese, but, like, I know more than you. I know it. I have a better taste for food than you do. So you guys have no taste. You literally were talking shit because I wear crop tops. You guys literally talk shit about my cooking 24-7. And then you want to come at me like, I know better than you. Meanwhile, my food tastes good. So like, no, I'm not. I'm actually not going to add cheese. You guys, because your eggs suck, they need the cheese. Like, you need to compensate. Like, what are you guys going to do when you can't add cheese? When you're out of cheese and you cook eggs, what are you gonna do? Usually you eat your disgusting plastic eggs? I won't have to, I don't, because I actually know how to cook eggs and they don't need to compensate by adding cheese. So they're literally like fries. If you need ketchup with the fries, they're bad fries. I said what I said, and I love fries, by the way. It's not a crop top. Wait, what was that? It's not a crop top unless you can see under boob. You're just, you're just horny. See, and this is a skinny dinner. I feel a lot of judgment at the beginning of the stream. I was seeing people like monkey head say like, oh, well, you're eating eggs. You must have just woken up. Actually, I didn't. I actually woke up at 1 p.m. today, which was pretty early. And I actually am making dinner. I just actually don't let the sun dictate when I eat. And I'll eat when I'm hungry. And I can do that because I don't overdo it. If you're someone who overdoes it, then you can't eat when you're hungry. But I can eat when I'm hungry. My body is actually very accurate. <clears throat> like if I'm if I'm too low like if my blood sugar is too low my body lets me know it's like eat sugar if I need food my body lets me know like my body's my body is very good communication with me because I'm in tune with my body you guys aren't aligned with shit 
And that's why you could, you don't, that's why you don't get it. That's why you're like, oh, uh, why are you cooking eggs at 9.30? You can't, you can't cook eggs at 9.30. Okay, NPC. Said who? Is God going to strike me now for eating eggs? Am I going to develop diseases if I eat eggs at 9.30? Am I going to develop a disease if I don't smother my eggs in cheese every time like you guys are suggesting? The chives are a great addition. Anyway, thank you Facebook for sponsoring the stream. Your bowl is plastic ill. Yeah, the food was not that hot. It wasn't like it was burning. So yeah, I, I actually can put it in a plastic bowl. Brittany, what do you think you'll do when your looks go away? Um, probably be thankful that you'll leave me the fuck alone. Probably that. Like, my looks are, you think my looks are going to go away? Like, I'm going to be, like, this. it's like, because, okay, here's the thing. They think, like, oh, it's so funny. They're, like, giving me backhanded compliments. They're, like your looks are gonna go away. It's like, oh my God, so you think I'm hot? So true, thank you. So they're banking on the fact that, oh, she'll age poorly. I'm black, black don't crack. Sorry, that sucks for you. That's unfortunate, isn't it? You have nothing to hate on now. You can't get any, any sort of, uh, any of that energy out on me, can you? You can't win, can you? Uh. see that was the matrix that was the haters channeling their energy at me i fucking told you guys britney is a vampire and therefore will never age can you not expose me right now but yeah like they it's so funny like they have nothing to hate on so they're like oh in the future i'll have something to hate on yo you're gonna age time's gonna pass you oh wow really Time's gonna pass me. That's what I should be scared of. Oh, okay. Okay. D stupid whore. Did, don't you know time's gonna pass? You're gonna get uglier. It's like, clearly you're dealing with being ugly just fine. I'm sure I'll be great. I'm sure I'll have no problems. I still won't be as ugly as you even when I'm 60. So... That's on that. So the eggs actually were pretty fast. That was actually pretty fast to cook it. So it's actually good that I went off on a rant because the stream would have been really short otherwise. That was actually really cathartic for me. Like this was, like not only was it a rant, like I ate really healthy food um i'm still i'm still hot and they can't get over it and you know they, they're still seething the orbiters the orbiters remorse havers the the sour sense seethe cope and seethe even even in 20 years from now guess what 20 years from now even if you were true, even if you were right and I age poorly, you're going to wait 20 years to have your, ah, got that bitch, time passed her. Like, it's really not the own you think it is. Like, it would be an own if, like, maybe if I weren't setting out to start a family and then I ended up without one and then I'm sad and I die alone. Okay. But that's actually not the case. So, like, what what is the own? What is the own by saying... Brittany, guess what? Time's gonna pass. Did you know that? You're hot now, but time's gonna pass. I'm gonna have something to hate on 20 years. You're gonna hold on to that for 20 years? You're gonna hold on to this anger you have toward me? 
for 20 years just to go, yeah, time passed that bitch. Got her. Oh my God. You guys are worse off than I thought. It's really worse than I thought. I thought it was just like, you know, you guys are a little fixated. You're a little obsessed with me. But this, run, this shit runs deep. You guys are ready to be obsessed for 20 years. Meanwhile, girls out here can't even get a commitment from their non-boyfriends. Girls out here can't get commitment from men they're dating. And then I have people in here willing to commit to a 20-year obsession with me. Longer than a, a child going from nothing to an adult. Like, you're willing to spend an entire lifetime of a baby to an adult obsessing over me, praying, crossing your fingers that I get uglier with age. But what has happened, guys? I've been streaming eight or nine years. What happened? I just got better looking. So they have nothing to say. That's why. They have nothing to say. So they have to bank on, oh, I hope, I hope that bitch gets ugly. At least, you know what? And guess what? You probably will never have a time period where you're as hot as me. You'll never have a time period where you're hot at all. So you can bank on it all you want. It's already too late for you. You have terminal ugliness. Post the screenshots on Twitter. Thank you, Spectral. Yeah, I don't know why Shoe on Head is like, like what happened to her Twitter account, by the way. Okay, let me check my website to see if there's any messages that I missed. TSUA ten dollars. Let us peep your chemix technique. Um, I posted on Instagram about it before. Um, it's kind of dirty right now, but my my technique is really just putting the filter in and then pouring the water over. It's very simple. And I use the good filters that actually give you health benefits from drinking the coffee. Because you guys are out here French pressing. You're not getting shit from your coffee. This is the only way to do it. <sighs> like, if that weren't the case, I too would drink a K-cup. But you're not getting any of the health benefits that way or through a French press. If you want the health benefits, you should get a Chemex and a brown paper filter. Uh, $50 from BM. I come to the Bimbo Bistro for the experience. The chef yelled for an hour straight, tearing down my manhood. Truly the best. The eggs she cooked, though, were scrambled. I asked for over easy. Um, actually, no, no, no. You have to be like how the restaurants actually are. When you, like, send back the food, they're like, guys, I swear to God, who gaslights better than a restaurant? Doctors. But that's beside the point. Okay, so you go to a restaurant, you order your steak, like, medium rare and they'll bring some shit out to you that's more brown than the leather boots i'm wearing and you're like yeah waiter actually i ordered a medium rare steak why is my why is my steak well done and they will sit there and like fucking gaslight you sometimes just for fun like um actually like are you sure you ordered a, a medium rare like someone else will be there with me too and they like heard me say it are you sure you ordered a medium rare? Oh, um, actually, let me check with this chef if this information is correct. If if this is actually a well done steak. Like I can't see with my own two very far apart eyes that it's a well done fucking steak. It clearly is tougher than the fucking boots I walked in with. And they just will gas, they do it for fun. They gaslight you at restaurants. They're like, they'll, you, you'll be like, I want X over easy. And they'll give you scramble and be like, I don't know how that happened. Gee, I, I don't know how that happened. How could that happen? Because you fucked up. That's what happened. That's how it happened. You're like, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'll give you a compensation of um, fucking spitting in your food. And then that's what they do. They like spit in your fucking food. And they're like, um, enjoy. Tip me 20%. Tee hee. Oh, you tip me 10%. Gee, I wonder why that is. Is it because I was spitting your food one time? Oh, and I should have spit in it two times because you could dare to complain about the steak that I gave you that was wrong, even though you ordered something else. Ooh, do better, sweetie. Ugh, minimum wage needs to go up. Do better, sweetie. Ugh. Like, actually, though, like the whole minimum wage thing, actually, though, 
we need to get rid of tipping culture. Like, actually, they're actually right about that. Like, give them a living wage. I actually agree. So we can stop tipping them because they don't deserve tips. I'm sorry. Like, all they do is gaslight. Have a good night, Brittany. I am having a good night now. Thank you, VM. I'm glad to see that you guys are with me on that one. Because it's so annoying. Like, I don't go to the fucking restaurant to get gaslit. I go there to eat food so I don't have to clean up after. I go there to eat mediocre food that I overpaid for just so I don't have to do dishes. That's why I went to your restaurant. Not to eat some shit that you gaslit me over. Like, okay, you want to hear? Okay, I have another example. One time I went to a restaurant, okay? I want you guys to tell me the ingredients, okay? Tell me the ingredients that you hear when I say, okay, I, I mean it like actually literally. This isn't code for anything. If I say cheese pizza like what do you hear like what like what ingredients are in cheese pizza just straightforward question what what ingredients we have bread right bread cheese people saying cheese okay and sauce thank you chat cheese sauce and dough tell me why at anime matsuri you order a fucking cheese pizza and they give you no marinara it's a, it's a cheese pizza and they won't give you mar with no marinara. That's not a fucking pizza. That is a grilled cheese. That's what that is. So, and then you'd be like, um, actually I was hoping for there to be some marinara sauce in my pizza. And then they're like, oh, well, that's how we make it here. Oh, uh, well, you know, that's how it is. We just don't put the essential fucking ingredient on our pizza. You know, that's how it is. And they put it in tiny fucking text too. Like you should put that shit in like bold font. If you were a restaurant, you're gonna serve me some shit, this monstrosity of pizza, the, what you call pizza, and it doesn't have marinara sauce. You need to put that shit in bold. Like it needs to be in the title. It needs to say like white pizza, does parentheses, has no marinara. That is what it should be. But instead like you go to a fucking pizza place and you're like rolling the dice if you'll even get marinara anymore. Like, inflation is ridiculous. Like, they're trying to scam us of our marinara. Remember what they took from you? They took the marinara, and they're laughing about it. And they still tax you. Pizza nationalism. <clears throat> and I'm serious. Like, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, a child prawn. I'm, I'm literally talking about cheese pizza, by the way. I, I like how I have to make that clarification. Like, I should be able to say a fucking food without people thinking of predators is not messed up but yeah um and it happened to me before too by the way i ordered a vegetable pizza did not say in the title there's no marinara all it said was like here's the pizza and here are the vegetables that come on it i don't know maybe i like somehow missed this like tiny fucking print that there was no marinara sauce but how the fuck are you just gonna do that how are you, just put it in bold if you don't have Goddamn marinara on your pizza. You better fucking put it in bold. Instead of having me waste $30 on DoorDash ordering this fucking, I don't even know what to call it. I Like like veggie, veggie toast? That's not fucking pizza. That's veggie toast. How dare you? Like, do you think I'm fucking stupid? I paid goddamn $30 for this pizza. There better be some motherfucking marinara sauce on that pizza. Oh, oh, and don't, don't get me fucking started. How these places are like, they are literally, like, what's the word for this? I'm a, what's like a YouTube friendly word for this? Like cheapskaping. Like they're cheapskaking the customers. They're like, oh, you want ketchup? That'll be 50 cents. Oh, you want marinara sauce with the calzone? With the calzone? You know the thing that requires marinara? A calzone? You, you know that? Yeah, yeah. They literally are like, Oh, you gotta pay for that. You have to pay for your marinara sauce that's necessary for the fucking calzone. Just say you spit my food. No, they wouldn't because they would charge extra for that. They would charge me 50 cents for the fucking spit. And it doesn't say sauceless calzone. I saw someone trust it. It does not say that. It just says calzone. And then you order it and it's a bread with cheese. And then they're like, we're gonna give you, we're gonna give you 
one marinara sauce packet. For reference, for reference, the calzones I order, they're like this fucking big, okay? It's like, it's huge. It's like four pieces, basically the size of a pizza, okay? And they're like, here's one marinara sauce packet. That'll be 50 cents for another one. Criminal. Criminal. That should, that should, it should not be legal. How is that legal? How is it legal to fuck someone up the ass that hard? That's rape. It is. Like, you cannot just fuck your customers brutally without their consent like that. It's fucked up. And I'm tired of it. No, we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make a list because there here's the list. Here's a list of like fucked up foods now. Foods that can't be done right anymore, right? So starting off with um inspiration from HRH collection. I talked about it plenty of times. You guys know I've done barista slander for like two years. So obviously I've talked about it before too. But she mentioned recently like coffee shops don't know how to make coffee. And it, and she's right. Why why would every time I go to Starbucks who's supposed to be consistent at every shop, by the way, because they are, they're all supposed to use the same recipe. They train their baristas. You know, they hold a string in front of their face with um, HRT dangling and put them on the treadmill until they learn how to make the fucking drink. And somehow, despite how much estrogen they give them for free, they can't figure out how the fuck to make the drink. Like, you go into there asking for a dirty chai, and sometimes they'll be like, what's a dirty chai? Um, it's literally on your menu. You should know what a fucking dirty chai is. But nonetheless, let's let's assume it's a new barista. Let's be nice, right? I asked for a dirty chai. Oh, what's a dirty chai? Oh, a dirty chai is when you do a chai latte and add two shots of espresso. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. And you get it and it tastes like water. How? How? The, the espresso is measured. It's two shots of espresso. How do you fuck that up? Guys, I have made... On my first try, I made a dirty try that was better than any of the Starbucks ones I've gotten from home. It took like an hour to make because I had to cool it. My fridge is making noise. But I still made it better than they could. But they're trained. They're trained professional makers of coffee. And they don't know how to make a fucking dirty try. But I can make one better? What the fuck does that say? What are they doing? So I agree. I agree with HRH Collection. Coffee shops cannot make coffee. They, they, they don't. They don't know how to make it. It tastes like shit. No matter how simple you make the drink. And at a point when it's that simple, just make it at home, right? Just make it at home. Um, but it sucks because it's hard to make a peppermint mocha at home. You can make a dirty ice chai at home, but a peppermint mocha, it's like it's a little harder. And then somebody drinks. That's why you go there. Cause it's like, hey, it's not time efficient for me to make that. But like, Clearly, you have to keep it simple, or they fuck it up anyway. So, what's the point? Um, the second food that's on the list is pizza, because of what I just ranted about. Like, stop not putting marinara sauce in your fucking pizza. And if you're doing that, you need to put it in the title, because I'm tired of ordering these goddamn pizzas and these goddamn calzones, and they don't come with no fucking marinara sauce. No, like, they give you a drop if you're lucky. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Let me know what you guys think, by the way. If there's any foods that you notice are just routinely fucked up and never made right despite how simple they may be. Let me know if you guys have any of these foods that you've noticed, too. Because maybe it just enrages me more because I really like pizza and I'm from New York. So, like, yeah, maybe I'm a little bit of a pizza snob. But it's still valid, though. Oh, I have another one. Okay. Mexican restaurants with those, like, steel stools. The steel stool chairs. And you, like... And I saw a meme about this the other day. And you, like, order a taco. And they give you, like, one tiny taco. And they charge you, like, $15 for it. And it's the most mediocre shit you ever ate. They don't know how to make tacos. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, the only place that I think can make tacos is Torchy's. I'm pretty sure it's the only chain restaurant that can make a taco. And it's the brisket one in particular. I don't know about the other ones, but the brisket one, 
it's good. Fantastic. That was the haters, that was the Matrix sending their energy at me again. <coughs> <clears throat> Dry barbecue sauce from places. I think if you use barbecue sauce or steak sauce, you're honestly probably overweight. Barbecue sauce, I'll say less so, because like if you use it on like a brisket, that makes sense. But if it's like for steak, you're probably overweight. Rin Wesley, 4 dollars which I make your own pizza, it's not hard and please stream it. Um, maybe. Wait, Sonic Chat said, I think you should only wear college shirts where you graduated from. Christ, I feel dirty wearing a college shirt where I didn't graduate from. Really? So you think I didn't graduate from Harvard? What made you think that? What made you think that I am not a Harvard graduate? I majored in bimbonomics. No, it's really funny how he is assuming I didn't graduate from Harvard because I didn't, but that's really beside the point. The point is I can wear whatever the fuck I want and you can shut up. I am wearing this shirt because it's cute, okay? I'm wearing this shirt because I feel like it, and these are valid reasons. I, you know what's funny about this person, though? Like, the obvious retort aside, like, fuck you, I'll wear what I want. He's talking about, like, oh, you should only wear college shirts that you graduated from. I think he's basically calling me tacky for wearing a Harvard shirt because I didn't graduate from Harvard, according to him. He doesn't even know my life. He doesn't even know if I graduate from there or not. He's making that assumption, which is true, beside the point. You are, you are, you want to know how I know that you're not that bright? Like you're, you're the dullest bulb in the batch. You want to know how I know? Macabre kid, you want to know how I know? Because you think that smart people go to college. Like he's over here like, wow, like that's stolen scholarly valor. You're wearing a shirt that's from a college you didn't graduate from. That's coming from someone who thinks smart people go to college. Tell me you went to college without telling me you went to college. I bet you went to college, huh? That's why you're mad that I'm wearing this Harvard shirt. It's because you got scammed and you went to college, right? Yeah. All that. Smart people don't go into debt for four years over a degree that they won't probably use. Um, but clearly people in my chat will and then belittle me for wearing a cute top because it says Harvard on it. I could get, I could go to Harvard if I want to. I literally chose not to. They were, Harvard was literally begging for me. Harvard literally wanted me so bad and I was like, no, I have to stream for retards on the internet. <laughs> Sorry, Harvard. Sorry, Yale. I can't go to college. I have to stream for retards on the internet. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Thank you, Brian J, for the $100. No message. Thank you. <clears throat> that joke was worth $100. <laughs> Narange Lunatic, have you tried round table pizza in Dallas? Gary from Neurotic said it's good. No, I haven't. I'll make note of it though. Round table pizza. <sighs> it's like that meme where the girl is like, it's the guy on his computer, it's some like schizoid, and he's like angry ranting on the internet. <clears throat> and he's like, I'm saving myself for my trad wife, and the trad wife is here like, I didn't feel, why can't I find my schizo retard in Sophia? Like, that's how it feels. <laughs> I 
Guys, <laughs> guys, I'm saving myself for college. <laughs> I'm saving myself for Harvard. <laughs> I'm saving myself for YouTube chat schizos with orbiters from Morris. <laughs> That's why I didn't go to Harvard. I'm literally crying. Anyway, the pants are too tight. No, they're not. They're literally like, that's, how is that too tight? Are you crazy? They're too loose. They're that's why they're so low waisted. They're supposed to be like, actually, no, it fits correct. This is the correct fit. You're nagging me. Like literally like, look how, it's like baggy on the bottom. It's like a loose fit jean or cargo pant. And you're like, oh, they fit wrong. They fit too tight. Like, how is this too tight? That's not too tight. Oh, great. Now, now one of the... One of the Sour Simpson chat. That's not very chat of you. Oh, really? Oh, really? I thought, per, for me, I thought I was trad when I started telling chat to eat shit and pass away in a nice way um, when they're old and pass from natural causes, of course. You know, that's when I thought I was trad, personally. hair got frizzy. I mean, like, it's always frizzy, so you guys probably didn't notice. Simp for Morris Orbiter Regret. Yeah, that's what it is. Simp for Morris. I should literally copyright those terms. I literally made them. Like, it's not my concept, but it kind of is, because I made, a, I put the name to it. All mine. Take a shower. Oh, with the camera on. Is that what you want? Is that what you want me to say? Like, hold on. Pedals is pedals. Pedals. Here she is. Petals hasn't said hi in a while. Say hi to Petals. Tell her she's beautiful. She deserves it. Simp for my cat. Like, okay, it's so true. If people don't simp for your pets, they shouldn't be in your life. If you don't simp other people's pets, just just say you're a psycho you're you're a sociopath like you're not gonna sim someone's pets she has such blue eyes you can't really see in this light though Six hundred, five hundred people just watched me spin my cat. Little lady. This is why ragdolls are cool. They just slink. My pedal, pedal. Her claw stuck in my shirt. Hold on. Emergency averted. Two 
Two dollars from I'm a fucking devil. I hate people who charge for a cup of water. Honestly, you, okay, you know what you are? If you charge for a cup of water, you're a fucking Janny. You're a fucking Janny. Because you have no business keeping for your company that underpays you that hard. You don't get paid enough to the Janny that hard. And that's why they're a Janny. Because they're doing it for free, basically. Like, <clears throat> On the other end of things, I see a TikTok of this girl talking about she gives customers a 50% discount. Just because she hates her company, she's giving her customers a 50% discount. Then you have the other side of the spectrum charging for a cup of water. Have some, have some dignity. Have some class. You're going to charge someone for a cup of water? Really? You're not paying for it? Is it coming out of your check? Some of these people, I swear to God, they act like it comes out of their own fucking check. Charging for a cup of water. Who made you like this? Who raised you? I'm gonna charge them for my time and be like, give me a 50% discount. Cause you just spent like two minutes of my time. $2 from SPLE. Can you go beef with Sky Jackson on Twatter, Fenty? Sky Jackson? I don't know who that is. Should I know who that is? Does anyone chat now? Um, $3 from Dan Holland. Are those back pockets photoshopped? Yeah, honestly, they're going to photoshop, like, my jeans. Like, honestly, guys, you should photoshop these cargo pants because these pockets are fucked up. Like, like, do you see the pockets? They're, like, flipped up. And, like, no matter how many times I wash them, the pockets just stay like that. And, I, like, do I have to iron them? Like, why are they doing that? I've never had this happen before. And these are, like, good quality cargo pants. Like, they, they're just flipped up. You can't see? Oh, I'm not going to get closer. Glue them? I may have to, like, sew them down or something. Anthony Puccetti, $2. Respect my daughter, guys. You mean your daughter. Your daughter. Respect my daughter. $2 from John Kennedy. The clock is wrong on that stove. No, it's not. It's 9.55. $1.99 from Patrick T. Super chat. Scrambled eggs or omelet? Um, definitely scrambled eggs as long as I can eat it with something. So like rice, bread, or like how I did it today. I can't just eat scrambled eggs on their own. I'll throw up. I don't really like omelets, to be honest. I make pretty good omelets. Ask anyone who I've made an omelet, but they're not my thing. I'm not poor enough to ever, oh yeah, I read that about Goodwill. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm all caught up. Two dollar super chat from TSUA cat. Thank you. Oh, and two seventy nine from Johnny Mark. Are you ever going vegan? Um, no. Not unless I had some medical incident, which would have to be me being come becoming allergic to all meat. Trying using fabric softener, drying, air drying them maybe. Maybe air drying. Oh yeah, did anyone answer for like who that person is? Let me scroll up. I charge people on Harvard shirts $5. Well, you're just telling everyone that you're like, Poor and ugly. Why does my hair look so frizzy on camera? It's not this bad in real life. Like it has more shape. Like it looks like blurry. Hmm. It's because you are prego. You know, one second people are complimenting my ads at my abs, the next second they're calling me prego. Do 
jump a little bit. Okay, random stranger chat, I need your gratification. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump for you. You ready? You ready? Ah. Boing! Boing! Was that good? Was that okay? Hope you guys enjoyed my jumps 10 out of 10 well let's end the stream on a high note then thank you guys so much for um congregating up my ass um i hope you get a life i really do or at least like a life that doesn't have to make you obsess over someone that's really like even if you have no life that's like the worst version of that like have a no life in a different way go like watch an anime that you like a wholesome anime or like go garden go go pet your fucking dog go do something if you're not no life do it the right way and um my eggs came out great and as per usual i i cook amazing food and my food comes out good every single time and haters are going to i'll put it this way i ended on a note saying sour sims gonna be sour they're going to be up my ass every hour. They fill my donations. They shower. But now that I haven't responded to them, it's a scour. Good night, everyone. And um, follow me on Locals because I announce when I'm streaming on there. Bye-bye.